Welcome, Take It Up with Jessica Lee. I'm here with Paul Weiner, who is the VP of Strategic Marketing from GAN Systems. That's right. How are you, Paul? I'm very well, thank you. It's an exciting world you're in, and I, I want to hear more about it. So um, let me just start with that. Your company has been around for 10 years, and you're in this power industry where you're disrupting the market. So tell us about what the company is doing and why it's get, getting a lot of attention right now. Yeah, so GAN systems, we provide a GAN transistor. Mm -hmm. GAN is gallium nitride. Okay. It's a relatively new technology in power transistors, mm -hmm. but it's been around for many years in several industries. It's used to do the blue LEDs mm -hmm. that are becoming more popular now. Uh, it's used in the communications industry for RF applications. Mm -hmm. And within the past few years, we've been shipping devices with GAN and power transistors. And why is it attracting a lot of uh, engineers uh, and executives from very large companies? Yeah, so, so every decade or so, there's an inflection point in innovation within our industry. Okay. And right now, we're at that inflection point with GAN transistors. Mm -hmm. And they're, they have the um, characteristics that are much better than silicon transistors that okay. are used widely now. And with those characteristics, cutcon transistors that okay. are used many uh, improvements in their systems. So for example, with GAN transistors, they can make their systems one fourth the size, one fourth the weight. Mm. So what does this mean? In a typical system, you can have your, your, your overall system be half the size, yeah. a quarter the size. We've even had a couple of customers one-tenth the size of a system. You can imagine the advantages you have in making a, uh, a automobile, an EV, for example, where you've got one-tenth the size or one-tenth the weight of a system in your vehicle. Very advantageous. Mm -hmm. um, also, with efficiency, we reduce the losses in the system by up to 75%. So that means that the power you get out of that system is almost equivalent to the power you put in, not burning it up in heat, heating a fan or a big heat sink, those sorts of things. Okay. And perhaps most importantly is the systems are lower cost. Mm. This is typically eight to 15% we're finding with customers where their overall system, even though the, the GAN component is more expensive, the system costs are eight to 15% lower cost. I see, so overall, there's a tremendous amount of benefits to using your new transistors as opposed to the uh, current technology that's already in a lot of systems. That's right, Yeah. that's absolutely right. So, you know, f and it's, it's uh, spread over many different marketplaces. Mm -hmm. um, the, the one we're most fam familiar with is uh, data, high bandwidth, either at home uh, on our computers, work computers, or even our phones, mm. right? We want more video content. Yes. Like this, right? People right. enjoy more video content. Yeah. More video means more data, which means more data centers, which means more storage and servers, yeah. more power. Data centers right now consume two to three percent of the world's electricity. That's forecasted to go to five to ten percent. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's the consumer market. You know, I talked a little bit about EVs and autonomous vehicles. They're going to consume a tremendous amount of power. We've got to make sure that's efficient. And then the industrial space as well. Yeah. We have Industry 4.0, smart factories, things like that. Yeah. They're going to consume more power, more robots, more data to make the system smart. And all of that means more electricity as well. All of these systems have to be more efficient um, for us to make sure we're not taxing the planet yes. um, by consuming more power. So this is a huge market. You mentioned it's like a ten billion dollar market. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 really large because as you can imagine, anything that's got power mm -hmm. consumes power. We all want things more efficient, and so it's it's really everything that gets plugged in or has a battery can take advantage of GAN transistors. Okay. Um, it's a giant market, but your company is actually quite small. You've got 70 people now, it's fast growing, and you are leading the strategic marketing initiatives. That's right. How, how are you going to market? Yeah, so it's really important for us to make sure that we 
address our audiences, right? It's really about knowing who your audience is mm -hmm. and what that important message is. Uh, we call it value proposition, mm -hmm. right? Again, we've got a great technology. How does the customer leverage that? Well, it's identifying who the customer is, and mm -hmm. it's really two groups for us. It's the design engineers okay. who are doing the design, and then it's the decision makers in the company at this, what we call C-suite level yes. is a typical term for that. And they really have two different um, requirements with respect to what they care about. The engineers, of course, they want to make it their system smaller, more efficient, and lower cost. With the C-suite, they're worried about top-line growth, mm -hmm. revenue, market share, reducing operating expenses. So our messages have to be different for those two audiences. Yes. The way we do that, for engineers, for example, we'll do A to B comparisons, uh, create a system based on GAN, one versus silicon transistors, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and actually show them the differences at the system level um, with costs and bill material analysis, um, provide them the application notes and reference designs, everything to make their job easy at that level. Right. And then with the C-suite, it's really, really different. Um, it's, it's really talking to them about what those benefits at the engineering level uh, translate to with business. respect to their <laughs> business. So a data center, for yeah. example, um, our messaging there is to the engineer, you can increase your efficiency to 97% mm -hmm. on the power supply. To the C-suite, it's you can reduce your energy costs by $400 million um, in, in electricity costs for your data centers. Yes, that's huge. Yeah, they're big numbers because yeah. it's big savings. That's why this this uh, technology is really exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, and I think I'm sure that uh, anything that's going to disrupt the industry, all these executives want to make sure that they're ahead of the curve and not be left behind, then, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. It's, it's really interesting to see how this is... Um, now moving very quickly mm -hmm. um, with market acceptance of the technology and those initial customers uh, committing to the technology. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost a race now because mm -hmm. nobody wants to be last. Nobody wants to be left out. And they have to make sure that they're taking taking care of looking at this. Yes. At least investigate, check it out. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Absolutely. And it's, you know, the, the, the nice thing about what we do is there's financial benefits. Mm -hmm. But there's also, um, you know, good we're doing for the earth. Yes. Right. By by Bye. making mm -hmm. things more efficient, mm -hmm. um, it's helping with corporate social responsibility. Mm -hmm. Right. And companies meeting their goals by being more green, taking steps to use less energy, mm -hmm. um, and we can help them achieve those metrics as well. Okay. Well, that's so. That's a great story to share, and I'm very excited for you. It sounds like you've got a wonderful technology. Um, so tell, tell me some of the challenges that you might have right now, even though I hear that there's a lot of demand, right, which is great, but what are some of the challenges you're facing? Yeah, the challenges, um, I, I would say we've gotten over most of them. Um, really right now, it's um, making sure that we've got the right messages for those C-suites, mm -hmm. right? The engineering communities are all excited. Um, in a lot of our industries, again, the C-suite understands the message. Data center is very clear. Automotive, uh, it's very clear, right? We can we can make an EV increase its range. That's golden for that yes. industry. Um, for for some of the other industries, it's less clear, um, and that's where we're increasing our knowledge, um, working more with customers on things like field trials and things like that to really get strong proof points mm -hmm. for those additional industries. Because we believe it can be applied in many, many different industries. We're having great success in several, but we're greedy and we want more. <laughs> well, I'm sure like customer testimonials and advocacy programs will be very helpful in those industries that you want to gain more credibility. That's right. And that's, that's, uh, that's something that we did most recently in one of the conferences is we had a panel and, and rather than us speaking on behalf of our technology, mm -hmm. we invited customers in to speak on behalf of us and share their stories. That's right. Um, and it was really nice because we had the CTOs and VP level people at our customers come in and share their success 
So it's a really strong testimonial that it was real. Mm -hmm. It's not just a engineering experiment. Mm -hmm. um, there's real benefit at the corporate top line and bottom line with our technology. So in the uh, in the curve of technology adoption, uh, would you say that it has crossed the chasm? It's now early adoption. It's it's like beginning to get to the mainstream, or are we at mainstream now? So it varies by industry. Mm. I would say on um, several consumer applications, I would say we've crossed the chasm. Mm -hmm. um, for things like EVs and such, which take traditionally a very long design cycle. Mm -hmm. um, we've started down that path, but I wouldn't say it's mainstream yet. Mm -hmm. And then there's industries in the middle, like energy storage, uh, industrial, things like that, where there's a mix. Uh, but I would say for the most part, we've we've got over that chasm mm -hmm. and, and we're now into uh, strong adoption. Okay, wonderful. That's exciting. Well, thank you so much, Paul, for being here to talk about the uh, efficiency and all the benefits that you're bringing to the power industry. That's phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. We're having a great time. Um, I think that all the customers we talk to are excited to talk to us, um, have some doubts in the beginning, but once they understand the value proposition and what they're getting from it, um, they're sold. There you have it, folks. Take it up with Jessica Lee, Paul Weiner from GAN Systems.